Antonio Pierce changed his mind. Raiders fans didn't expect this kind of comment from the coach now. Pierce's recent statements have concerned the fans. It's as if the Raiders don't have a direction, or at least they don't seem to have found one, and the coach seems to be confused by all this. If you want to receive all the information about the Raiders, subscribe to the channel. The Raiders have a starting quarterback. Against the Cowboys despite the defeat and the offense not working, the Raiders even managed to score 12 points, which is a lot for most sports. But by far the most important development from Saturday night's game came after the Raiders scored all 12 points. The team announced that Gardner Minshew would be the starting QB for the regular season. After a month of dismal performances and a downright disappointing set of negative camp reports, the team is going with the option we all knew would come after all. The Raiders wouldn't pay that much for a backup quarterback, the quarterback they just paid nearly $20 million for this offseason. Those who are desperately rooting for Aiden O'Connell, thinking that he'll one day be able to throw quickly, no need to get too upset, his time is almost close and some say it could even be in the next month. When Pierce was asked about the two QBs his answer was as predictable as a coach can be and also a grim reminder of what it will be like for Raider Nation to watch the Raiders QBs this season. In the National Football League, you never know. But Aiden is a younger player who has tremendous potential. I think he'll still be a starter at some point in this league, whether it's this year or next year. He'll play in games. Saying he'll play in games is basically Pierce reassuring O'Connell through the media, but it hits Raiders fans in a different way. Seriously, this is worrying. It's like Pierce chooses Gardner Minshew, but ultimately doesn't expect him to have a good season. Imagine the biggest fan just looking 1,000 yards away, repeating, he'll play in games, over and over again. He'll start in games. And now, after a summer of guessing which quarterback will start week one, we have to switch to a fall of guessing who will start week six. It's a whole different ball game. Or is it the same game? This is going to be a long season, that's for sure.